Red Eye Reduction in Photoscape X. This is a part of my tutorial series where I share every tool and feature in Photoscape X. And today we're looking at Red Eye Reduction. Photoscape X, in my opinion, is the best free photo editing software that you can pick up. And for the free features that you get in it, Red Eye Reduction is one of them among many. So the Photoscape X, they put together their own little tutorial of how to do it. The only problem is that it's 22 seconds long and doesn't really show you too much. It shows you maybe one example here. So let's begin. So we hit play. You have the image. You pull it in. Look at that red on that eye. You want to remove that. Go over to tools here in your top right hand corner. Red eye reduction. Make sure your brush size is what you want it to be. Make sure your hardness is where you want it to be. They selected eight. They circle around it. They select it and they let go of their, you know, left click and you have that done. You know, the end result is pretty nice um, that at least it was able to remove it. But we're going to walk through a little bit more of just how that exactly works uh, today. So we are over here in the editor. Already dropped an image in that has that red eye issue. And this is due to like a flash or due to some kind of, uh, you know, problem when it was taking the photo, but most likely dark situations, uh, night show photos. Uh, but yes, we're going to go over here to tools and we're going to hit the fix red eye. And I'm going to, you know, select my brush size where I want it, hardness. And then I'm also going to zoom in for you guys just so you can see it really nicely. I'm going to go and select this. Unfortunately, the selector is red. So that's unfortunate that that's what it ends up being. Nonetheless, this tool is super focused in on any red shades in here. So we're going to select this. Uh, and we'll go a little bit further on the outside of that. If this is just a left click and I'm holding it down to select everything, let go and you're done. The comparison between one and the other um, are pretty drastic. You can undo and you can see what it looked like before. But it's really nice that stuff like that's available because when you zoom out then, it actually can look a bit more normal uh, than what it was before. So I really like that they have that in there. Uh, and we're going to do this other one real quick in here as well. And if you think it's, oh, it's a little too removed or something like that, you can go back and adjust how drastic you want it with that hardness. And if you don't get it all the way to the edges, you can go back over it again. All right, but let's say you feel like it doesn't look quite right. What would be like the follow-up tool to uh, the red eye reduction? I would go over here to the color tab. So instead of the tools tab, switching over to the color tab. And then what I would do is I would go in here and select just that portion of the eye and then maybe brighten certain parts or darken certain parts, things like that to be able to get it right to where you want it to be. So sliding over to mask, selecting, what you have there and maybe it's darkening that even more or maybe it is brightening it you know maybe bringing back more of that eye there um, and hopefully not too much of that red um, also if you feel like hey I really don't want like that light glare in there you think that's kind of a mess what you could do is you swing over tools as well and you can hit uh, either spot healing or clone stamp I'm going to select spot healing here you can go in here and select that and you can remove it. Now, it just depends on what you want to do, but I just wanted to share a little bit more of a context of using that tool. Uh, Photoscape X did an okay job of showing it. This, I think, gives a better job of how to go from something where it's red eye to at least a little bit better, something where the image might be salvageable. Uh, something that is such a close up like this image is pretty tough, but. I think for most red eye images, you can remove it and still have a usable image at the end of the day. So you guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.